It's going to be an exciting baseball season in 2023. And I think it's fair to say, Anthony McCarron, you're looking at two of the best rotations in all Major League Baseball with what the New York Mets have been able to do and what the New York Yankees have been able to do. And it's going to be a fun debate. I feel like all summer, Anthony, we're going to be oh, dissecting yeah. Who's got the better rotation? Who has the better one-two between the Yankees and the New York Mets? And for me, at least, if we're talking about these rotations, one through five, I have to give the edge to the Yankee rotation because of durability. I know what you're getting with Garrett Cole. He's going to make 30 starts without hesitation. Now, you could argue Rodon. You could argue Severino. These are two guys that get hurt. But look at that starting five right there. Rodon was a beast with the Giants last season. Severino, when he's right, I think he's one of the best pitchers in the American League. And you know my love affair with Nesta Cortez. I mean, he is no fluke. He's done it now for a year and a half. And if Montez could just give the Yankees anything, and this guy's got a good track record coming over from Oakland, to me, there are less questions within the Yankee rotation, especially that back half compared to the Mets. That's fair, JJ, and I get your point, but I'm going to bet on two Hall of Famers here in Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander. I know Scherzer didn't provide a full season last year, but I think that the Mets are in a unique position there because they have better depth at 6-7 and seven with David Peterson and Tyler McGill to fill in if one of their top two guys does not make it to every, 30, to every one of their 32 starts. Now, look, the wild card in all this to me, JJ, is Kodai Senga because this is a number one type stuff guy with the ghost fork and the high 90s fastball. I really feel like this guy could be an incredible, like easily the best number three out of either of the teams and even challenging to push his way up into the top two spots of the rotation. That's one of the main reasons I give the Mets the edge uh, in this debate. I, look, it's going to be going like this all year, I think, and we'll be talking about it like you said, and it's going to be a great discussion and it's going to be a focal point for both teams. But just right now on paper, thanks to two of the best pitchers of their generation, two of the best pitchers who ever lived, Scherzer and Verlander, Mets are number one. Concerned, though, with their age, and I'm right there with you with Senga. To me, Senga is the ultimate wild card in that Met rotation. If he goes and pitches to his capabilities to what we saw in Japan, then holy smokes, one through three, you're smoking if you're the New York Mets. But is there an adjustment period for Senga? The idea of now That's going fair. a couple of days a week as opposed to going only once a week. They need Senga to be great. That's fair, and look, my, my problem with the Yankee rotation is, and it's a minor problem, but the durability that you talked about, I don't know if I see it with Radon and Montas. Uh, you know, Radon, I love him. I would want him on any team, and any team should have signed him, and the Yankees were smart enough to do it, but he hasn't exactly done it throughout his career. I think he's, he may be past that part where physical problems are, are getting in the way, uh, and, and obviously he has dynamite stuff. Fastball slider combo uh, is almost unhittable, but there are, you know, watch things there, too, and, you know, I, I don't think they're out of the woods as, as far as, you know, posting up every single time for 32.